Olá YouTube, my name is Ricardo and I'm a will addict. And if I look exactly like I did in the last video, that's because I'm using the same clothes. I just spin the, the hat around and I made myself look like a vato loco. So <laughs> let's do this. Today we are going to be talking about the second box that Power Slide sent me, and that is this one right here. <laughs> The skate that it's inside this box, I have spoken about this skate kind of before in this channel. So, you know what this logo is? The Sway. This is the US this way. I made a review on the Sway 2. I did make a review on the Sway 3 and the Sway Farmer. Now, what I'd never add was something that it's on this newer skate. This is the farmer skate again, but this is the newest farmer. And you might be wondering what is different about this skate. Well, this is an aggressive skate, right? One of the most important things on an aggressive skate is the sole plate. And this is what USD changed on this skate. Obviously the color from the last USD Sway Farmer to this one is different. The last one was gray with some purple details. And this one is kind of like, I don't even know if this is like a, a different shade of brown or if this is a different shade of a very dark shade of gray i don't know exactly the color of the skate it's kind of like a, a super dark gray on the brownish side if that makes sense i don't want to say anything wrong but it's it's how it looks to me and then again it has some orange details it has chris farmer's own liner this is the crown liner the first review that i've done on this channel was about the usd crown liner when they first came out that was 2016 or 2017 that was the first review that i've made on this channel and the liner has changed a bit not a lot but it has changed a bit and i know that chris farmer has been a huge fan of this liner so they made some changes, especially on the on this Velcro cuff that comes on the liner. Yeah, we'll get there in a second. But the liner is the Farmer liner. I don't know if it's going to be sold on the aftermarket or if it only comes on this skate. Comparing this to the older version, I don't think they changed a lot other than the, the, the sole plates. Something very interesting about this skate, and a lot of people like and a lot of people hate, is this. This skate has a lot of forward flex and it has a lot of forward flex for two reasons. Number one, if you don't know how um, our skate looks under this shell, if you take the cuff off, I should actually take it off. If you didn't know how it looks under the, the cuff, you will know now. Well, this is also something interesting that I haven't seen in other skates. It has a little spacer here. I've never seen that before. A nylon spacer that will prevent cuff bolts from getting loose. I want to think that's the reason. Now, when you take this off, there's these things right here. I don't know how to call it, like these wings, whatever. To, I don't know how to call it. Usually, in most skates, these things are sometimes taller, but most of the times, a lot harder. And the reason why this skate has so much forward flex, it's because these things are actually very, very slim. And other than that, the location of this cuff bolt is very much aligned with most people's ankle bone. I don't know if that, that even makes sense, not an ankle bone. Look at my foot, there's a bone here. This is the center of this movement. And that point is very much aligned with this. So with these two being so aligned and the these two wings, I'll call it wings, being so soft, that makes it when you bend your knees forward, the whole skate will lean forward a lot more. So this skate is known for having a lot of forward flex. Even with this liner that is pretty much pretty stiff, but even with this liner, you will feel that you have a lot more forward flex. Making it an amazing skate for some tricks that a lot of people know Chris Farmer for, with those being negatives. Not just for negatives, but for most aggressive skating grind tricks. You usually can only bend your knees forward. Your knees don't do lateral movements. They go forward and then depending on how you rotate your feet, either if you rotate it 
out or in, you'll be able to do negative or soul tricks. It's kind of like how it works. And then if you rotate it out with your knee forward, you'll be doing negatives. If you rotate it in with your knee forward, you'll be doing souls. So it's all about the way that you put your knees in order to do some tricks. And these skates will allow you to bend your knees a lot. This is a skate that will give you a lot of forward flex. Other than that, if you look at the sole plate, the main difference from this sole plate to the old one is that this one actually wraps around here in the front. And in my opinion, it looks much better. It looks more low profile, if that makes sense. It looks more modern and it also looks more like the damn skates. I'm not saying this in a bad way, but it does look a lot more like a skate that a lot of people like the looks of it. So yeah. I think they did an amazing job on that. Something interesting here is that these are already come on the older sways. There's some holes on the sole plate to reduce the friction when you do like a sole trick or something like that. There's less surface touching it, making it faster. I just don't understand why they don't have it on the negatives. Come on, you got a skate that is good for negatives. You can do the holes also on the negative one. I get it. They got the USD logo here. I don't know if you can see it, but it could be used too. Then they recess the space here for some frames that allow you to be really low. So that is cool. They also recessed the space in the front and back. I love those master frames that I've been skating a lot. And sometimes in some sole plates, I need to go and create this space myself. So it's cool that the boots come already prepared. If you listen again to what I just said, I said the boot. And the reason why I said the boots come like this is because this is not a skate that it's gonna be sold complete. I don't know exactly why, knowing that Chris Farmer skates for a wheel brand that has nothing to do with Power Slide, which is Red Eye, and knowing that he also skates for a frame brand that has nothing to do with Power Slide, I can see that as a reason for him. I know that he has like an orange wheel that would match perfectly with this. I also know that there's a new 5050 frame that probably by the time that this is out, the frame has already been announced. And there's a frame that is orange. I want to believe that the frame is going to be the 5050 farmer frame it looks like the 5050 core not core what's the name of it prime i think it's the 5050 prime farmer frame because it has orange maybe i'm wrong i really believe that it's farmer's frame so at the end of the day if he wants to have like a real pro skate then he has his own frame and his own wheels and then you can have the real chris farmer pro skate now what else can i say about this skate something very interesting about this skate is if I take this sole plate off and I can take the sole plate off by taking six screws, I can transform this skate into a free skate by using a Trinity adapter that PowerSlide also sells. So basically you take the sole frames off, you install some Trinity adapter and you'll be able to just use the exact same boot as a big wheel setup called power slide zoom. So the power slide zoom and the USD sway are the exact same boot. There's nothing wrong with that. That actually means that the boot should be supportive if they're using it as a, as a big wheel setup. Last thing that I can say about this is the looks. If you look at this skate from the top, I don't know for how long have you been skating, but if you've been skating since the early 2000s, even the late 90s, you will know the look from this case, from the top, that little line that you have that you see here, it will remind you of the USD Classic Thrones. You can now also see it on the Mesmer skates. So yeah, that is it. Just some first impressions on the new Chris Farmer skates that come with Chris Farmer boots. By the way, these liners, they're interesting. Check this out. It's a liner that can be very soft or very hard. So on the tongue of this liner, I have a stiffener that I can take away and then I make these a lot softer. Now it's soft. Also here, there's like two stiffeners here on the side, uh, two pieces of plastic. One, two. These are like side stiffeners that you will have on these liners. Basically you can strip down the liner. Right now you already have a much more flexible thong and the much more flexible on the side. If this is not enough, you can still make this liner slimmer. And if you think that this liner, it has too much of a, an aggressive position because you feel like you're leaning forward too much, you can also take the shock absorber out. And that is it, the Chris Farmer liner. There's a lot of options here. It might take a bit longer for you to find out what's your favorite setup. One last thing that is interesting about this skate, it's the sizing. Most skates would be 
a 10 11 us or 43 44 while this is a 9 10 or a 42 43 so for me this is actually a boot that most of the times fit great because I'm on the biggest size of the shell and when I look down it doesn't look like I have a boat on my feet. So that's cool for someone that uses a size 43 or a size 10. I think it would be just something that you would like to, to know about this skate. And that is it. Now I'm done with this. I'll be making a review of these. As I said before, I've skated this skate before, not with this sole plate, so I'll put everything together and I will share my opinions about this skate with you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't like it, please leave me a thumbs down, but also please leave me a comment, let me know what you didn't like and I can try to change it and make it different on the next video. Other than that, just like I always say, just don't forget why we all started skating and that, that it's because it's fun. Now, cheers and see you soon. I missed it. So where